Hi, this is the makeup look I'm going to be showing you today during my get ready with me. If I'm not on set makeup look, if I do my makeup, keep on watching if you want to see how I achieved it and see me without any copy before. So good luck and enjoy her. In three, two, one. Hey guys, it's Madeline. I am here today to show you my current everyday makeup look for Madeline Life. I was kind of inspired to do this because my new Ipsy Glam Bag for April just arrived. Ooh. Ah. This video is sponsored by Ipsy. It's always exciting when I get it in the mail because I have new products to try all the time. So I'm gonna also incorporate these products into my makeup look today because I was on set until the wee hours of this morning, so I'm a little, a little tired, tired, but I'm happy because I've been working a lot more on the show. Today I've got some like ancillary tasks I have to get done in the world and then some meetings. So I thought I would just do a quick little get ready with me. With you, with me. My brain is fried. In other news, I started making my own cold brew at home. And it is so good and delicious. I love it. So we are gonna wake up together. I love Ipsy. It's a subscription-based service personalized to you of makeup and beauty products right to your door. You can pick between full size and mini size products depending on the price point that you want. And it arrives every single month. And you get to try a plethora of new and amazing products that come right to your door. It literally could not be more exciting to get my Ipsy bag every month and play with all the goodies within. Hey, can you stop? My dog is like chewing on this string on my sock. That was really distracting me. Hello, hello. Alrighty then, let's clip my hair back. I took these hair clips from Seth, don't tell me. All right, I am a firm believer in starting with the eyes and I'm gonna start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mini Eye Primer. Is this gonna work? It's like so metallic. Also, I've never done this before successfully, so we'll see. It's so cute! Good evening, good evening. I need a mirror. Me putting this on my hand before I'm ready, not a smart choice. So I'm just gonna put my eye primer. One thing you're gonna learn about me, the more of these videos you see, is that for some reason I never use the right brush for the right thing. I am by no means a professional. This is just the way that I like to do my makeup. Like this is technically, oh, this is a flat eyeshadow brush. So I guess I am using the right brush right now, but. Yeah. Typically when I'm in the makeup trailer for set, I am using eyeshadow brushes for concealer, you name it, I probably do it. So now that I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer on, I am gonna go in. Very ballsy of me to wear a white hoodie in this. I'm just gonna do a very light eyeliner. I have a little gel pot of eyeliner and definitely the wrong brush for the job. But I just wanna do like a very light winged out brown liner today. Okay, whenever all of us being quiet, I know she's doing something bad, one second. She was chewing on my brand new heels. Not that I even have anywhere to wear them, but they're so cute. This is always a process, so just bear with me. I don't know why I hunch over and have to have my mouth open. I'm like, okay, lightly get the eyeliner on the lash line, like so. I'm gonna clean this up later. But they're two very different shades. <laughs> to me, this is the easiest way to do eyeliner, is just do it however you want and then clean it up later. Now you have a nice little shape. Eyeliner is always the longest part for me. I've been shooting for 15 minutes. I'm gonna go in with another one of my Ipsy Glam Bag products. This is the Belle and Argent Duo Eyeshadow in Shutter Speed and Cinephile. So first, <laughs> I'm gonna dip into the warm brown shade, which I'm assuming is Shutter Speed, very pigmented. So I'm just gonna blend it out into a point here and then again, we're gonna clean up. Blend, blend, blend. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And then I like to kind of go over the eyeliner with the eyeshadow to just make it a little bit less aggressive. Okay. So obviously it's very messy right now the way that I applied it. So I'm just gonna go in with a light shade in any palette and blend it out. I use the same brush. And then I'm gonna grab my same Q-tip and just clean up because I suck at being precise with my eyeshadow. And my final step to my eyeshadow look is going to be adding the shade Cinephile to the center of my eye. Look at how gorgeous that is on the brush. By tapping it on. Does anyone else like hunch over and open their mouth when they're doing eye looks? Just me? 
yeah, that's my eyeshadow look. All right. Curl my eyelashes. Another Ipsy Glam Bag product. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I see this everywhere. Look at that brush. Whoa. Do you see that? See the difference? That's just one coat. That's one coat. I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy little eyelash separator, which is dirty, and just do a little comb. And now I totally could leave it at one because this is a fantastic mascara. But now I'm just curious to see what a second coat is gonna make my eyelashes look like. I understand the hype now, I do. All right, I think my eyes are done for now. So this is a holy grail product for me. I use brow styling soap from Amazon and I get a little bit of my water. Spray it in there. I don't know where my actual spoolie is, so we're gonna use the spoolie of my eyebrow pencil. When you just go in and pick up product, I think I used a little too much, but you'll get the picture. Because this needs to like dry and solidify, I do it before my foundation. So then it ends up looking something like that and then you're gonna push it down to create that laminated effect. And now they're not gonna move. And because I have such sparse eyebrows, I'll still have to go in and fill them in. Anyways, back in. The key is not to make your spoolie too wet because if it's overtly wet, it's gonna end up hardening like a helmet, which we don't want. Like, I think this side might be too wet. Okie dokie. And now I'm just gonna let these dry while I do the rest of my face. Now for foundation. Sometimes I will just go in with my favorite concealer and just conceal the spots that need to be concealed and move on with my life. But today, because I need a little wake up slash pick me up on my skin, I'm going to do a full-ish face. I use a serum slash skin tint, so it's not very thick, but you get the idea. Whoa, I'm wearing white, I'm wearing white, I'm wearing white, I'm wearing white. This is stressful, I should've done it like that, oh my God. Oh my God, that was scary. Oh my God, that was scary, wow. Even on the show, I don't really use a foundation. I'm much more into like the light skin tints. And then I'm gonna go in with my concealer on the spots I would usually conceal. So I do just right there, my nose, a couple dots on my chin, I've got a pimple, but it's still healing. And then just a little bit right here and right there. Whenever I'm trying to cover up one of those juicy pimples like this one, I actually let the concealer sit on it for a second. I don't have anything exciting to tell you right now. I have a little guy next to it as well that needs to be covered. I used to have this amazing little tiny detail brush that I would just put concealer on with, but I lost it, so. Concealer, check. Whoa! Now I actually get the back of this brush and just do some dots of cream contour. And then I'll blend it out with the back of the brush. I know this is weird. We're not blend it out, but like kind of create my shape. There's that. And then just grab a little blending brush. Or this is not a little blending brush. This is the foundation brush. I grab a foundation brush. It's kind of like a little face massage. Can you hear this? And then I take the littlest drop. I always do too much of this when I have to blend it, but I'll go into my hairline because I think I have a huge forehead in hopes that it makes my forehead look a little smaller, but it never does. Like my forehead doesn't look any smaller, but I feel better about it. Trust the process. A little concealer, dot there, dot there, line there, line there. I'm really willy nilly right now. I'm not even looking in the mirror. Back in with my concealer brush and just kind of bring it concealer and blend really. This is something I'm trying for the first time. Well, I'm gonna blend this out actually, it's a little aggressive. I like to match my lip to my cheek. We're gonna try this out. This is a really beautiful. Oh, actually this is gonna work for sure. I just put a little bit of this lip on the back of my hand. It's from Sugar. It's called the Matte as Hell Crayon Lipstick in the shade 28 Honey Writer. I can already tell how soft it is on the back of my hand. I'm gonna use this as a blush. Blend this out. Wait, I think I just cracked the code. Wait, wait, this is beautiful. 
Hold on, I'm actually so excited. This might be my new favorite blush and it's a lipstick. Oh my goodness. Big fan. We've got eyebrows, lips, powder. Done. Let's do powder first. I'm just going in with my tried and true. I use it way too much on my beauty blender. Now for some eyebrows. I've been using the same eyebrow pencil. Not like the same exact eye. These say this. So I just create little brush strokes. Sally. The shape's a little funky, so give me a second. This might be concealer's time to shine. And then I'm gonna use the tiniest, tiniest dot to cover, because I hate plucking my own eyebrows. I'm not good at it. Eyebrows should be sisters, not twins, I know. Oh my God, I'll never forget. <laughs> One of my first boyfriend's sister was quite a bit older than me. And I remember when she met me, I used to do like really nasty block eyebrows because I had no idea what I was doing. Not to say that I know what I'm doing particularly well now, but I'm definitely better than I used to be. And she tweeted or put on her Facebook or something, eyebrows should be sisters, not twins, at my brother's new girlfriend. I don't think she thought I was gonna look her up later on Facebook, and I did, and my feelings got really hurt. Sad little baby Madeline. Okay, last step, guys. 40 minutes later, it usually takes me 15 minutes to do this. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wait, I've got two steps left. I really like this highlighter. I actually got it from my last Ipsy glam bag. This is from Anastasia. You need literally the smallest amount of it. Just pat that into my cheek there. Boop. I'm gonna bring a little under eye eyeshadow down with the same color that I put on my lid. This little one, I think it's called Shutter Speed. Very light. I feel like that just opens up my eyes a lot more. And then we're gonna do some lippies. So I don't want super pink lips with this look. I want it to be as muted as my cheeks. So I'm actually just gonna put it in the center. Oh, again, sorry. This is the Sugar Cosmetics Matte Lip Crayon in the shade 28 Honey Rider. And I'm just gonna, whoa, I really like this. And then rubbing it in with my finger. I'm really into that like bitten look right now. Do you know what I mean by that? Like the, I just drink blood look. Does that make sense? You know how vampires like when they just drink blood, their lips are all plumping around in the movies? Maybe not. Something like that. I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip balm from Tatcha and just gloss up the center. And then we're done. That's it. We finished. That's the tweet. I'm gonna try and get all this makeup off my hands. And take out my clips. Don't mind my hair from yesterday's work. Relatively easy. If I can do it, you can do it. That is my get ready with me. This is my pretty much everyday makeup look to some degree. I go about my life looking like this if I put makeup on and I'm not working. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe for free videos and put videos out most Wednesdays. Check out Ipsy. I put a link to them in my description box below. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye.